Hi guys. I was asked about my biceps, what workout, what exercises. It's not four. When I was competing, I would do standing straight bar curls, uh, alternating dumbbell curls, you know, the basic stuff. A lot of use the machine for, for, for curls. But now I've modified that just doing about four different little movements. Creature machine, uh, hammer uh, curls here. Um, one of them, concentration curls in between. Then standing dumbbell curls. And the last one, using a rope. I tie a rope on the machine. I'm using like a, like a rope curl. So, four, three to four sets of each. So you're talking about 12 to 15 sets. It's a small muscle group. You don't need a lot of uh, sets. And the uh, repetition range is going to be from, you know, 10, 12. For me personally, 10 to 12 reps. But 8 to 10 is, is, is good as well. So we're going to do a set of 8, 8, 8. I'm going to hit all, all my exercises. Here we go. What you want to do is keep your wrist straight. Very important, that wrist. Because every time you curl, you start doing this with all four arms. You want to keep your chin down, keep your traps out of it. What we're trying to do is isolate each muscle group. Every muscle group you train, you're trying to isolate it from the other muscle group. So it takes a lot of mental concentration. So even for me. So here we go. Wrist straight, chin down, eight reps. You want to maintain the tension on the weight as you lower the weight. Keep the tension on the biceps. You don't want to start throwing the weight up. You want to feel your bicep actually pulling the weight, controlling it down. And what I'm using is a soft grip. I'm not gripping the bar. My hands are closed, but I'm not gripping the bar too tight. It's a soft grip. Keep my forearms out of it. Elbows in nice and tight. Keep the elbows in because you're trying to work the inside head of the bicep. The inside head. That's my focus point, mentally focused point. Keep the wrist straight. Only coming down, feel the tension all the way down. Squeeze the top, but you're not trying to hold the top, don't hold it. Contract, okay. Next one is do the standing dumbbell curls. I'm not alternating anymore, I'm doing both dumbbells at the same time. So standing dumbbell curls. Come up. Isolation, the peak of the bicep. From here, kind of a soft grip. Focusing on the inside head of the bicep. This takes a lot of mental concentration. So when you're done with your workout, I'll leave the gym exhausted just from doing bicep. But the body wants to cheat. You can't allow it to cheat. Make, make that muscle all the work. Switch over, here we go. Control it all the way down, you don't want to drop. Trying to squeeze the peak at the top without holding it. Just want to feel that contraction. Totally focusing on the inside of that bicep. Everything's nice, slow, and controlled. All the moves you do must be in control. You can't drop the weight can't throw the weight. When the pain kicks in, that's when you smile. Because that's the, that's the fun part. You wait to get to the pain. If you can't handle the pain, the body goes back for you. So here we go. Last one, rope. It's my hammer curl. You can use dumbbells, standing dumbbells. But I prefer the rope on a machine. It's a better isolation. So once again, elbows in close. Working the brachialis on the outside of the bicep. The pole coming down. I prefer the rope because the grip. It's a smaller grip. 
And it really isolates the, the bicep. It, it takes the forearms out of the movement. Slow in control. Try to squeeze the top. Mentally, you're completely locked in. Keeping the chin down. Not throwing it. Holding it all the way down. That's it, guys. Thank you.